here labeled height controls how much you edit the land, how strong things are. So edit radius, obviously that's the radius of how much you're editing. Dir. So if it's at 2, this is how much it is. If it's at 12, it'll look a bit like this. And sometimes it doesn't show up if it's too large. So at most, I'd keep it at 15. But we're just going to edit this path today. So I'm going to set this to radius 5. This right here in the height section, labeled edit fall off, controls the hardness of the radius, the hardness of the edge of your radius, which is used to edit the area. And that's usually left at 70%, so I'm going to leave it at that. And flatten vertices, it's as simple as, yes, that's what it does, is flatten everything. As you can see, I just messed that all up, but... I'm going to bring it back because that's not what we want. Soften vertices will, it's pretty self-explanatory. It'll soften the vertices. For instance, let's set this to one and bring up a little spike here. As you can see, we have this nasty looking spike. And because we stretched out this one tile here, all of our textures are stretched as well. So we can soften that, that up and calm it back down by using the soften vertices option and bam it lowers down until it's lo looking better and then you can edit it from there and as you can see we've kind of created this little hill here and that still looks good as far as textures go level that out once more and it's back to normal so edit radius I want you to guess. Guess right now what this checkbox right here does. If you answered show edit radius, you're a genius. It shows the edit radius, you're right. So if we uncheck it, obviously we will not see our edit radius. Mind blown. Moving on, we have drawing mode. It's a subsection of height. And what this does is it it doesn't allow these to be the pri primary settings. And by the way, all the settings here are controlled by left clicking. Right clicking will change the texture, and we'll talk about that in just a second. So in drawing mode, what we're doing here is we are raising things up. Why? Because that's the default setting for landscaping. If you're just in this section here, if you have both of these unchecked, you're going to be raising things and lowering them. You can also bring your mouse down to lower things. So now we drew this up, and obviously it looks bad. We already did this, and this time I'm going to show you how to make sure this is on. How to level this out so it's so that our land is now up here. In drawing mode, you can click raise to and buy. And by doing that, you can go toward the lower ground and have that raise up next to its previous ground that your radius circle was on. That sounded weird, but I hope that makes sense. Lower two and by does the opposite. So what we want to do is after this is over, fix this awful looking crater that we just made by going back over here and clicking soften vertices. Set your radius up and fix that up as best you can. And we have our path back. Yay. Looks good as new. Also remember that in drawing mode, you're only raising the ground. You're making new land in drawing mode. And it's very helpful if you're a quick editor 
it can make things go a lot faster than just raising up the ground and then clicking soften raising up the ground and, and clicking soften that's just going to waste your time drawing mode is a very easy to use and fun tool last thing we need to learn about drawing mode is this checkbox right here that says absolute height if you click that then you will use this number here which is the height of your drawing so if you raise that up to about 200 let's see how much that gets us so, so we can raise that up only to here it looks like that's the absolute height that we set, set it to 200 is right here and it won't go any further up than that see if we try it up here nothing will happen because 200 is set to here and then if we choose delta we get this which means when we draw our brush is gonna go everywhere as you can see we're creating huge hills that honestly don't look that great anyway I hope you understand the height section and now we're going to talk about the texture section this is a little bit easier to understand so texture is controlled with the right click on your mouse and when you select a texture that's the texture that you're going to draw onto the landscape this is actually really easy to understand it's as self-explanatory as it sounds so say if we were going to turn this more into snow we can hold down the right click and this happens let me tell you about this the reason <laughs> we're actually seeing black right here is because there is a limited amount of textures that can happen in one cell and that is about six so if you click I you will see all of these textures and to each cell there is a qua there are four qua yeah. and to each cell there are four qu and to each cell there are four quadrants so if we can delete some of these textures I can show you how to continue doing this so if you simply delete these you can keep editing your textures now obviously when you delete these they'll go off of the area so be careful what you, you are deleting and remember I'm only using this cell as a demonstration don't just go editing some random cell in Tamriel willy-nilly not knowing what you're doing so now that I deleted all of the textures it looks really weird but for the sake of this video that's why I did this so as you can see when I right click here I can make some snow and if you, if you click B you can see your borders for each cell I had edited this cell so I could keep uh, adding new textures to it so keep right clicking and you get all of this wonderful snow obviously it doesn't match this because these are meshes that you put into to the game from the object window so if you were to make a snowy region then you would want to replace what you have here with that which corresponds which is snow and that's how you change texture in the landscape editor now there's one last thing we can talk about which is color this section actually isn't used a whole lot because the textures are already obviously colored and they're made pretty well and you don't want to change what they look like or it won't be realistic and you want realistic in your mod but I sometimes use them to make certain areas darker it's pretty helpful but not too dark so when you click edit colors after you check this box both left and right click are devoted to this section here vertex color so if I were to use the left click it would become really black because that's the color that it's at if I were to change this to green then that's gonna look really weird but it can work 
So let's change that to green. And there's our really weird looking snow. And of course, one can be assigned to the right click. So let's make some yellow snow. Make sure that's here. And there's our yellow snow. It's that easy. You have two buttons that can be used at the same time. And that's pretty useful. Just don't do anything like this because that looks really awful. Now, another thing we can talk about is opacity. Now, opacity controls the opacity of a texture. So if you were to want to add some reach moss texture over your weird yellow snow texture, you can do that. So let's just set this to about 10, and it won't show through the entire field. Obviously, you can see there's some change, but if you hold it down, then that will become the primary texture. But if you, you click a few times or just very lightly go over it, you can see both textures overlapped. And it looks pretty nice for transitions for certain regions, like if you are going into a plane from a snow region, then you can add some overlapping there so it doesn't look all strange with snow right directly next to land. It's pretty useful in that manner. So, looking back at what we've done, we've obviously screwed up the world space, but at least, hopefully, you learned something in this tutorial. Please don't do whatever this is. Just don't. Anyway, I hope you learned something today, and as always, thanks for watching.